Hey friends, this is your buddy Carl. Just to encourage you to dive into the daily Bible reading as you feel encouraged to do so. Yes, this is a short update. This is January the 8th, and so we're already a week into 2021. And so I've been posting all the readings now that we did all through last year. Same translation, New Living Translation. But something that I do many times is, as I'm studying online, I might have three or four translations and a concordance. And so, for instance, I'm listening again through the year NLT that I read just to make sure it all unpacks properly. You know, sometimes you go back and review like, oh, I didn't realize I said that. Because <laughs> many of you that followed through 2020 realize sometimes I read and then I do a little highlight or a little commentary. And uh, so I may repost some of the dates if I feel like something has shifted. I mean, not that I think anything was wrong. Maybe I just didn't present it right. Uh, but, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> but I too, do try to get interpretations correctly as best I can or point to them. One thing I'm doing this year is like we listen to the NLT, but I'm also reading the Amplified Version. Look at there, the Amplified Bible. And I know there's many translations, different denominational translations. and But I pretty much go with the standard, probably Protestant translations, you know, uh, 66 books of the Bible. And I won't get into those debates, like why don't, why don't they use some of the other books? You know, uh, they all can cross-reference in a way. Sometimes they weren't cohesive. Some of the other books didn't line up with some of the theology of the whole. But, you know, again, theologians argue that and debate that. I won't debate that. Uh, just read the Word. Feed on it a little bit every day. If you miss a day, don't worry. Don't. A lot of people get discouraged. They miss a day, and they're like, I can't do this, and they quit. Don't quit. You miss a day, you miss a couple days, pick it right up. Get a little planner and go, you know what? I'm not on the calendar, but... You know, in a year and a half or two years, I'll get through the Word. Because if some of you are in fellowship and hear the Word in church, that's good. But it's so good to do it on your own. Uh, God's people are called to hear God's voice in His Word. So bless you for this year, 2020, or 2021, as we listen to 2020, which is just kind of like, you know, a lot of the Bible programs just keep it posted forever. Once it's been read by a professional and they've edited and done all this cool stuff. There's so many great readings of the Word. But it's good for you to read the Word. You read it. It's good to hear it. Something about your mouth. Sometimes when, I, when I'm hearing somebody, I will read the Word and speak along. Like you, let's read together, you know. And that, I don't know. It's not, you know, I don't know. In the spirit, is it is it embedding in us more? I, you know, some people would have a thought about that. I don't know. It just does something, I think, to hear your voice speak God's word. So be encouraged. Do that. So I'm doing it. I'm listening to the NLT that we did last year with me reading and paying attention to the commentary. But then I'm also reading along with the Amplified Bible. Or you could do the NIV, New International, the ESV, English Standard Version, the NIV, New International Version. Many of those, I look for a translation where it was a council of theologians and scholars checking the words. So the idea is to get as close to the original languages as possible, even though uh, English is not actually a good language to represent the weight and meaning of Greek and Hebrew. Sorry. And we all, many of us speak English, right? It's a common language in the earth. But there you go. So be encouraged. Carl's five-minute encouragement. I will post this after the eighth posting that's going on our YouTube channel. By the way, follow me on YouTube. Please subscribe. Subscribe and share with your friends. Say, hey, check out Carl reading through the year, reading the Bible through in a year. And be encouraged. The main thing is don't be discouraged. I've done that like, oh, I can't do this. And then you quit. You don't do anything. And just, so keep your own calendar. Keep a calendar in your Bible and go, hey, you know, this year I'm going to, there's my calendar and mark off your days, you know. And I haven't marked them all off that I've read, but there you go. And every year I print out a new one to see if something's different. So anyway, just different ways to do it besides what you hear in community or in your church. You do it. You go after the Lord. Pray and read. 
Ask Holy Spirit to speak to you. God speaks in his word. It is God-breathed. We believe uh, that scriptures are God-breathed, that God, yes, gave it to people to write down, but there's no literature like it. And I won't go into the weight of evidence that scripture is unique in all other literature. I'll just say that there's nothing like it. It is divine in, in just its continuity and nature. And so all the other things you hear, like, oh, you know, it's just a bunch of old guys writing stories. No, sorry, that doesn't wash. There are better scholars and theologians than me that have weighed all that evidence and really point to the supernatural nature of the Bible, okay? Unlike any other holy writings or philosophies or anything like that, it is God speaking. All right, bless you all in your daily reading for 2021. And uh, enjoy that. Please send, again, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a little note, a commentary like, hey, Carl, what about that? You know, and we'll start a little maybe discussions. Or you can always email me at our church site, thewellofnashville at yahoo.com is our email for the church. Leanne and I pastored the Well of Nashville in Nashville, Tennessee. And you can see our streaming services twice a week. The Well of Nashville meets on 10, at 10.30 a.m. on Sundays and 7 p.m. now on Thursdays. We call it Thursday Thunder at the Well of Nashville, so don't miss that. All right, we'll see you there. Stay encouraged, stay in peace, stay in hope, stay in prayer in all seasons, no matter what's going on in the world. Let's let's navigate where we really are in the presence of the Lord. We we Jesus even said the realms of the Spirit the spiritual realm is actually more real than the natural realm. And why would he say that? Well, because all of those elements are affecting things that happen down here. But Jesus says, no, you, we are seated with him in heavenly places. And John, Gospel of John 17, he is in us and we are in him and we navigate as one. That is awesome. It's profound that the church has that that relationship with the Father, if you're in Christ, He is in you. You know, we only go to buildings to gather as the church. The building is not the church. You are the church. If you're in Christ, we are all the church. So God bless all my brothers and sisters, even in other denominations or tribes, right? People always like, oh, but if you're not in this church, you're not the real church. Nope. If you are in Christ, you are the church. What if we couldn't meet in buildings like so many people in third world countries? What if you couldn't do it never again? Would you not be able to commune with the Lord or have fellowship with believers? Could you not take communion? No. If you are in Christ, Scripture says you are kings and priests. That's something to ponder. Men and women, right? All of us, we're in the body. So there you go. Super encouragement because that transcends the natural realm. So there you go. I'll stop now because it's getting on a roll. But I just wanted to encourage you. We're in the first week of 2021. You're probably seeing this somewhere on January the 8th. And the new readings will post every day. I'm reposting those. They're saved on a hard drive right here. Saved on a hard drive. All of last year. How about that? 365 readings. How about that? Carl's one year Bible right there. I put a little note on the hard drive and bam. So <laughs> I will repost them every day. All right. Love you all. Bless you. And we'll see you for the daily Bible reading. All right. Bye-bye.